Hi, this is Summer with Summer's Tips and Stitches, and today in this video, I'd like to open a knit crate. Um, I s send out for their monthly subscription. I used a promo code from DOY Creation 7 to get $5 off my first order. If you also would like $5 off your first order, I'll put a link in the description to her video where she had that offer. And then also Hooked on Owls is another um, gal that does YouTube videos about um, crochet and knitting. And she also has a promo code you can um, type in. Okay, so if you'd like to, otherwise I guess you could just go to their site and pay regular price. Um, but let's get this started. I decided to make a video early before work because I hadn't made one in a while. And um, I'm going to... Okay, so I'm pretty excited. I just saw the yarn. I really love these colors. Here it is. Wow, look at those colors. Now, you can kind of see already it's bigger than the last time. This is a Superwash Merino worsted weight wool. Oh, I'm so excited. It's worsted weight. And it's called Paws Off. Um, there is a beach cowl that you can make, and there is yoga socks. I don't know if I will do the, the yoga socks, maybe. And then they're calling this modern primary. So yeah, that's awesome. I do like the cowl. Maybe I'll try the cowl pattern. Uh, hopefully that, oh, that's the knitted one. Eeks. <laughs> As you know, I'm taking a break from knitting because it drives me nuts. Oh, and the crochet is the yoga socks. Well, maybe my daughter will like them. Oh, <laughs> so there it is. I'm going to hold up the yarn one more time. Wow, isn't that pretty? So this is the knit crate for this month. Wow. I like them. Yep, I like them. So that's really it, folks. I wanted to, like I said, quick film this video before work so I could put something up before I leave. So I don't want to make it too long. Otherwise, it'll take forever to get it loaded onto YouTube. I do have a video that I will make probably after work today or can't make it tomorrow morning because you know what, folks? I'm getting oral surgery. I don't know if you can, you've can. you noticed in the last maybe two weeks of videos, maybe the last three or four, but this side of my face was a little bit more swollen, and I kind of have not been as perky as I feel. I don't have been as perky as usual, but I have something going on in the back area where my wisdom tooth was pulled out like 20 years ago. Yeah, 20 years ago, my wisdom tooth was pulled out, but I've always had like a little hole back here. It's so bizarre. And every once in a while, something would get caught in there or kind of hurt, and i just like rinse with mouthwash and it'd come out and it'd be fine. Well, it's now been like a week and a half to two weeks ago. It exploded. It was so swollen and infected, and it hurt all the way from my ears to my adenoids, my tonsils, my lymph nodes. It was horrible. I went to the doctor. She didn't know what was wrong. She gave me an antibiotic. I said, go to the dentist. The dentist went and said, there's nothing wrong with any of your teeth. You need to go to an oral surgeon. And so on July 9th, I went to the oral surgeon. He's like, oh, yeah, it looks like there's fragments of root in here. I need to dig them out. I'm like, how are you going to dig them out? <laughs> so that's what he's going to do Friday morning. Tomor tomorrow morning, he's going to dig them out. So there might not be a video then. So you know what, folks, I'm going to do, I'm going to put this video out for today. I'm going to record another video tonight, even though I'm working all day and I will be tired. But that way, at least I'll have another video to put up, depending on how well things go after the oral surgery Friday, Saturday, because I might be even more swollen or not able to talk. Because also, something that goes along with whenever I have this thing is my, my jaw locks up and I can't open my mouth as wide as I usually do. Which isn't too bad, except for if you want to, you know, for certain eating or chewing, it hurts. So, 
hopefully I don't have to take too much of a hiatus. <laughs> so I'll try to record another video today so that I'll have something. And I do have something in mind because I've been working like crazy on a special project. And a few of the comments I've mentioned to other people what the next video is on because I'm really excited. I have some finished objects and a whip. And I'm pretty, pretty happy with what's going on. So I'll get that video out. I'll do that tonight, and then I'll be able to save, post that Friday or Saturday to at least give me a couple days of resting before, because of the oral surgery. But other than that, thanks for watching and subscribing. Get your knit crates, because look at that, it's some worsted weight this week, or this month, and it's so pretty. And I subscribed last month in June, like right after watching when the other people got their knit crates, and I still got yarn right away that month. I didn't get the cute little box, if you recall. I got the, the bag, but that's fine. All right, well, that's what I've got. Remember, I've got that 1,000 subscriber giveaway running. It will close out next week, Monday. And until then, happy crafting.